All right, so let's begin with the Juno's commit model. So I'm logged into the device. I'm just going to resize the window. Okay. The first command I want to talk to you about is the show compare command. This command is useful when you want to take a look at your configuration before you go ahead and commit it. For example, let me go into edit and let me take a look at show system. As you can see here, the name server that I'm using right now is 4.2.2.2. Let me go ahead and change that. So first up, I'm going to go into the edit system configuration hierarchy and I'm going to say set name server. I'll do a question mark and it shows me the currently configured value. I'm going to change that to 8.8.8.8. .8 now with Junos, what happens is if you do this, it's going to add one more name server to the existing list. Now this is slightly different from some of the other vendors where if you type this command it would actually go and replace this. But if I did this in Junos, 8.8.8.8 will get added as one more name server along with 4.2.2.2. Okay. So for now I'm going to hit enter and I'm also going to delete the existing name server. So let me say delete name server. I'm going to delete 4.2.2.2. So I'm done with my changes. I'm going to go to the top. And before I hit the commit command, I can do what is known as show compare. The command is show pipe compare. You hit enter and it shows you what are the configuration items that have changed. So it shows you that you've added 8.8.8.8 because there's a plus sign. A plus indicates an addition. A minus indicates a deletion. So I've added 8.8.8.8 .8 and I've removed 4.2.2.2. Now you may be wondering what's up with these over here. This is from my previous configuration. I've actually not committed the changes, so it's also showing up in the list. But the bottom line is this command here, show compare, it's very useful to check out your changes before you go ahead and commit them. One more command that I wanted to talk about is the commit check command which allows you to check and verify your configuration before you go in and commit it. Now imagine this, if you're making major configuration changes on your device. Let's say your changes go into several hundreds of set commands. And when you hit the commit command, there is a chance that your commit may fail. And you don't want that to happen because otherwise you'll have to go back and review your changes. Instead, what you can do is you can do commit check Junos will actually check and let you know if your configuration is going to successfully commit or not. Let's try that. Let's do commit check. All right, so it checks the configuration that you're about to commit and lets you know that the configuration check has succeeded. Now, this is very good because before I actually commit it, I know that my changes are going to work. If it's not going to work, it's going to give me an error message saying, saying the configuration changes are not acceptable. So now that I know that the check has succeeded, I can go ahead and hit the commit command. All right, let's move on. The other item that I wanted to talk about is commit confirmed. Now this is a very useful command if you're performing configuration changes from a remote location. Let's say you're managing your firewall remotely and let's say you're making some changes to the interface IP address. Now there is a high probability that the configuration may not work and you may be locked out of your device. Commit confirmed can help you in these situations. When you do commit confirm, Junos is going to commit your configuration, but it's going to roll back your configuration to the previous state in the next 10 minutes. So what you do is you hit commit confirmed. If you're okay with the changes, if everything is working fine, you can issue a commit one more time and your configuration becomes permanent. If you do not hit a commit one more time, your changes are going to be rolled back. Now 10 minutes is the default timer. You can actually change this to any value that you like. Okay, so I can say commit confirm three. So it's gonna wait for three minutes. If I do not issue one more commit, the changes get rolled back. If I give one more commit, the changes become permanent. This is very useful if you're doing changes from a remote location. One more commit command that I wanna talk about is commit at hit a question mark, it will give you an option to enter the time at which you want to commit your changes. For example, I can say commit at 1700 UTC. Now UTC is the time zone that's set on my device. Commit at 1700, hit enter. And it first does a configuration check, it succeeds. So the commit will be executed at 
so and so date 1700 UTC now before you try this command make sure you have the system clock perfectly set now let's say you actually issued the command but then you changed your mind you do not want the schedule commit to happen you can change that by doing clear system commit that's going to roll back any pending schedule commits all right one last commit command before we move to the next topic that one is commit all right i need to move to the configuration mode first so i'm going to go to edit and i'll say commit and quit this is a command that will commit your configuration and take you back to the operational mode 